I'm back, darlings. I'm back. We have a Dollar Tree road trip haul. I went to Kingston, North Carolina. Two locations. And we're going to see what I found. It don't mean a thing if you ain't saving cha-ching. Do up, 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 do up. Let's go. you just gotta entertain yourself okay <laughs> sometimes you just gotta laugh and entertain yourself to keep from going crazy I do have a shirt on it may be kind of nude but I have a shirt on welcome back guys happy Sunday did I get anything accomplished not really <laughs> and I've had two days off but I have two more I still have two more y'all I still have two more Welcome back, guys. This is the Large Kingston. I went to the two. One, I usually normally just keep it pushing and pass by. That store was a Rite Aid pharmacy. I'm talking a little bit louder because some people say they can't hear me, and I lost the mic that I bought from Amazon. And I'm trying not to buy another one, guys, because they sent me two iPhone mics the first time, even though I ordered an Android mic. And they finally got it right the third time. I really don't want to go through that whole fiasco. I need to find out which pocketbook I had it in. I don't know. I I had it since I had my older car. I know I didn't leave it in the car. I don't know. I'm going to find it. Okay? So I'm not shouting at you. I just want to make sure that you can hear me. Okay? Um, yeah, so I went to the new one that used to be a pharmacy. And their shelves are finally stocked and they're finally getting things in because some of the shelves were bare. I did a grand opening shot with me. Um, and I usually, some of the hit wishlist items, they go to the larger Kingston location. Before we get into the haul, guys, though, I shared with you that I, in a shot with me, and I believe this shot with me, that I wasn't really a fan of the lip cushions. It wasn't that I couldn't get it to work. I just feel like it wasn't that pigmented. Now I am have the pink one on, and this looks nothing, this is not a pink that I would buy, okay? I would like a darker pink, a richer pink. This is more, I don't want to say like a bubblegum pink, but does that look like the same color? No. So, here is the one that I opened. So it is a cushion, but you have to twist. And when I say twist, I felt like I was twisting forever to get color to come out. And the twisting is at the top. You really can't see it, but you see, I'm still twisting y'all, even now. And the color starts to come up. I just felt like I didn't get a lot of color on my lips, guys, that it wasn't really pigmented. And if you can see, I don't think that the color matches the tubes. The tube is more brighter, what I should say, okay? Um, it's not a bad nude color, but it just, in my opinion, really didn't look good on me. Why did I do that? I don't know. I really don't like this pink that I have on, but we're going to roll with it. <laughs> we're going to roll with it. So that's what I was referring to. Look at my skin color. It just like blend. It, it, to me, it just didn't give me color. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Okay. I, I just personally, I mean, if the colors matched the containers, you know, I would be happy. But other than that, no. What I did was, I do like these. And I hold quite a few of these Reve Revlon lippies in uh, high shine and matte. And I love these. These are awesome. I'm glad I didn't go crazy with these. I think I might have got a red. Maybe the red will be red. And then I'll be happy. So I got those. And a lot of you... When Jerrica, and I'm not crazy, Jerrica's just my alter ego that I blame on things. 
you know, that I blame things for. You know, it wasn't me, it was Jerrica. Um, I found this wig when I was somewhat cleaning out my closet. And it is an older wig. Um, I did use some of this Lusty Wig and Weave oil-free shining spray that um, I hold while I was in Virginia. It has since made it to my local stores. For those of you who buy this these type of things and who wear wigs, um, out of a scale of 1 to 10, I give it like a 5, 6. There are so many other, if you go to a beauty supply uh, store, I like the demerit one. I believe if I'm saying their name correctly, if I can find a picture, I'll put it on the screen. And the sample size like this, you can get for a couple of bucks. You used to, I mean, everything has went up. Um, but for a few cents more, even if it's a dollar more, I just would get that. It's just a much better product if you're looking to bring a wig back to life. I did put some curls into it, um, but it could use a good washing and conditioner. But when I get to that point where I got to be doing all this work for wigs, I might as well do my own hair. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not, some people do, they wash their wigs, they all that. Usually, and this is a wig that I paid a little bit more money. Maybe this was like 150, which is... I usually don't like to pay more than $40 for a wig. Uh, this is a human hair unit. I usually buy synthetic. And $40, you have it for a while, you toss it. You know what I mean? It's, but this is a human hair wig that I did invest in. So maybe I will wash it and, and uh, trim it and try to bring it back to full life. I do like the color. But this is a, eh. I say go with demerit, to be honest with you, because I think this will leave a lot of oil buildup and residue on the wig and it'll begin to look greasy and you don't want that either. Um, that's just my opinion on that. And I got so many and I'm still getting, if you follow me on Instagram at Dollar Tree Queen 76, uh, I posted all of the Cantu products and I, I'm still getting messages that these are no good. They're not good for your hair. They're no longer made for us. And when they say us, they mean ethnic hair. Um, apparently the formula has changed. According to these people, I don't know. I haven't bought Cantu probably over two decades, maybe longer than that. I haven't permed my hair and it wasn't products. It was a perm you know, um, a relaxer, hair relaxer. And I haven't relaxed my hair in so many years, so many, so many years. And the last one wasn't a Cantu, but I have bought a Cantu relaxer kit in my time. And it's probably well over two decades ago. So I don't know what formula changed. I don't know who owns it now. I don't know, but I can tell you these did not work for me. So this is the apple cider and vinegar um, plus tea tree soothing shampoo. It's like water, guys. It comes out as a water consistency. I did get a little bit of lather, um, but it stripped my hair. But most shampoos that I use really strip my hair. Well, the conditioner brings it back to life, right? This is a leave-in and rinse or plus rinse out hydrating conditioner. Moisturizes, softens strands. And when I woke up that next day, and I did not blow dry my hair or whatever. I did what I usually do. My hair was just like drier than ever. Um, at least if it was poofy, I could see because I didn't blow dry it. I understand that. But the dryness, if this is so hydrating, shouldn't have been. So I have gotten rid of all of these. I bought, I believe, only three of these. And I bought four of these. I got rid of the unopened ones. And as well as almost all of the other Cantu products that I bought. Almost. Um, I still want to try that Try that styling um, foam. I'm still going to try that. What I did like is the one and only products. That kind of helped bring my hair back to life. I'm just going to go to Ollie's for my hair care. Because they have name brand products for the low low. So that's where I'm going. But I did want to share my opinion. I'm not sharing it on Instagram and let them know that they were right because I'm still getting remarks. And listen, I leave my comments open. Just because I show a product doesn't mean you have to buy it. I don't get paid from Cantu. I don't get paid from Dollar Tree uh, to promote products or anything like that. And if I review products, I'm going to give you my opinion. It doesn't mean that I, you know, that's just 
that's just what it is. So Cantu is a no for me. I don't even want to try the other products except for that styling one. I will try. I did haul four of those. If I don't like it, I will return the other three. I kept all of my receipts. Now let's get into, does anything else I have to tell you about? Oh, and also I want to show you a picture of the uh, clear uh, wine bottle holders. I want to show you a picture of those, how I have four of them stacked on my wine cart, on my bar cart. And um, the other two, I'm going to stack and put my uh, some vinyl in. If I like the way that goes, I can take a couple of them, maybe even two of them and add to it and stack four high in my closet where I can keep my vinyl. I can keep iron on in one, glitter vinyl in another, I have matte vinyl, I have, you know, regular vinyl, whatever like that, because it, it just makes it easier and you could just reach in, grab a roll, put it back. I do want to start to use my Cricut Joy again. I mean, I invested so much into this little machine and I just want to get back to crafting on a regular basis, okay? Let's get into this haul. So I have seen people hauling these shorts, ultra performance shorts in all different sizes, they never made it my way. I found them at the Kingston location that normally I would pass. I got these for my chunk a month. Now, these are a size six. They are giving me size eight. From buying his clothes at Ross, Burlington, TJ Maxx, other stores, this to me looks more like a size eight. He'll definitely be able to fit these. So I got him a size six. Matter of fact, this is a size five. The sizing is definitely off. Um, in my opinion, um, and even, um, I believe Pookie's fine. She had a boy size 20 and her husband was able to fit them. So in my opinion, they kind of run big, um, because this is size five. No way. This is giving me definitely size seven, eight for my chunk of monk from other clothes that I bought him. So I got him the red and black ones and they came in plastic. I will put the link to that shop with me in the comment section. I'll take you directly to that video just in case you missed it. Because I don't buy everything I see. For those of you who are new, I got the blue and gray. And Dollar Tree sells some pretty decent t-shirts. I could get a solid black t-shirt, maybe a red t-shirt, maybe a navy or a gray t-shirt and put together three outfits. And this was the black and the white. All size five, yeah. The size six, they did have a size six and it looked too big. It's hard shopping for him, guys, because I'm not seeing him in person and he's not here with me to try them on and to have to ship these. You want to make sure you're getting the right size. But to me, a size five is equal to a, a U.S. boy seven, eight. Okay. In my opinion, from shopping for a chunk. So I found the shorts. I got those three, but they did have like this neon green pair. I didn't get them. Maybe I should as play clothes. So if I go back and I still see them, um, because I'm waiting for their next truck, um, I like to go around truck day so I can see the new, um, being it is a road trip. I don't want to go there, you know, after I've already been there and seen what they put out. Um, and they still were putting stuff out. So I'm pretty sure I, I missed a couple of things, but I may go and get a couple more pairs. I mean, you can't go wrong. Those will make great summer shorts, even to wear to school. They are seem like good quality and they seem like they will wash well. So I was happy to find them finally. Also, these have finally made it near me, but I found another wake up and makeup in Kingston and I love clear. You guys who rock with me know that. And these are perfect for travel and I probably could use another makeup bag because I do take a lot of makeup with me. And not just makeup, little skincare things or whatever. So I was able to get, that was on my wish list to get another wake up and makeup. Something else that was on my wish list, I wanted to find two more of these containers. Probably would have gotten four more, but they only had six left on the shelf. And I don't know when they put these out. I don't think they put them out with this truck. I think they probably went out later on last week, around the time I found them in Rocky Mount. These are awesome, and I love the way they stored the scoops inside. I don't know why the other stores had them hanging out. This is just perfect. It says for coffee, which I probably can use one for coffee now because you guys know I started making my cold brew and I'm absolutely loving it. Save your money. Buy you the cold brew system at Amazon. I can speak for this one. It's awesome. It's a 64 ounce container. You'll have cold brew for days. It steeps in 
I would say anywhere from 12 to 18 hours, depending on how strong you like your coffee. I love it. It's going to save me a lot of money. Um, and yeah, so I probably could keep some coffee in here if I wanted to, but you can use this for all types of dry foods, guys. Oatmeal, oats, grits, um, rice, um, sugar, flour. I mean, it says coffee, but the possibilities are endless. If you have powdered laundry detergent, your scent boosters or beads, so many uses. I think these are awesome. They haven't made it near me yet. Maybe this week. Maybe they might not. I have to be honest. Some things never make it my way. That's why I road trip. Um, in the craft section, they had these gem canvas painting kits. Diamond painting. Is that what this is? But they, I guess, I don't know if that word is pat patented and they can't say diamond. But I think the tiger is very intriguing. It looks very tedious. I'm not going to lie, y'all. It looks very tedious. I don't know if this will eventually make it into a giveaway. I was thinking about doing a craft giveaway. Um, so it comes with the canvas, a sorting tray, adhesive, a gem pen, and 12 gem packets. And the completed canvas is only 6.18 by 6.18, so it's not that big. But I just picked it up, guys. Again, this probably will go in a giveaway. I don't know if I have the patience <laughs> to sit there and do that. I want to craft, but I'm more into, I like making wreaths, um, maybe some kind of stand or something. I love spray painting and stuff like that. Um, painting, but I don't know how I feel about this. But I did get it. I do like the print. So glue away, we haven't seen anything in the like tool bench. This was in that section new. Um, this is a glue away adhesive remover and cleaner. Your best choice to remove adhes adhesives, gum, crayons, and other sticky problems. It really works. You get four fluid ounces just to be safe. If this is a hit, I got two because once things sell out, they're gone. So I did get that. I did find these. Total chapstick hydrations. I think I found them two weeks ago, but I passed it by because of the tent. But I seen um, Money Minded Michelle. She did a swatch, and I'm grateful she did because I passed this up because I was thinking it would give me like peach lips or something. It's nude, guys. It really doesn't give me much of a color. I did buy three of these. Um, I do not like dry lips, so I have one already in my pocketbook. Um, and it does give a tint, but more, it's 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 not even this pigmented. It's, it's definitely a nude on me, and uh, that's fine because I'm mostly going for the moisture. So I do have the other shades. They come in different pinks. They come in darker pinks. I like this one because if I'm in bed at night and I just want something on my lips, I don't need to have color. You know what I mean? I just need the moisture. So... That's it. Don't, don't expect much. It's just going to give you the moisture. And these are much more money at other stores like CVS and all this other stuff. So $1.25 is great. And Chapstick Total Hydration doesn't always come near me. It comes, it goes, it comes, it goes. The lip scrub too. If you see the lip scrub, get the lip scrubs. It's, it's awesome. So from Beauty Intuition... Um, they have this bold and bright lipstick. I only chose this one. This is a rosy nude. I I am a nude lipstick lover. I really am. I am more, I like more of the pink hue, you know, like you have browns, like this is just brown, but I like a, um, a nude that has like a pink tone to it. I didn't buy any of the other ones the last time these were out because I just didn't. Um, I wasn't a fan of the lip glosses. The lip glosses to me, um, mm, it's really nude. Is it close to, where's the other swatch? Well, you see the difference? Like this, this one is more brown and this one gives you that pink. I'm into the more pink. We'll have to see. I'll have to try it on my lips when there's nothing. Um, and I don't know, the lip glosses I didn't like because I felt like it just absorbed. I mean, I felt like I didn't even get down the block. I put it on. I felt like <laughs> two stores down, it was gone. It just like absorbed into my lips. So that's why I didn't want to go crazy. It's a dollar twenty-five, guys. I know. What do you expect? I don't expect it to not stay on my lip for more than 10 minutes. I, I, I don't expect that. I'll tell you that much. And I didn't set this price. They set the price, so that doesn't mean they have the right to give us poor quality products. You know what I mean? If they feel that this should cost more than 
You have the plus section. Mark it up if you want to. <laughs> Might sit there for a while. Just like that mustard. I'm sick of seeing the Christmas foods. You know the seasonal foods from Christmas? They need to mark it down. They're talking about they're losing money. Part of it is their fault. Okay, I understand theft is one issue. This is Jerrica talking, okay? Okay, this is Jerrica Dollar Tree. I understand about theft, but you guys trying to save money and have two people in a store at one given time and one person is the cashier and the other person's on the floor trying to stock the shelves. Sometimes they have to stop what they're doing to run a line because the line is all the way down the aisle. You have all those boxes in that damn stock room. That's your profits right there. That is your profits just sitting there, not being sold because they're not out. A lot of times, guys, this stuff we're looking for is in that damn stock room. But they don't have the staff to put it out. You can't even get mad at the staff. I was in a store several times last week and it was only two people in the store. One is a cashier and the other is the manager and they're usually out stocking. And then they have to stop what they're doing if there's a return or if they have to jump on the line to get people out eventually. And it takes them a while to do that. Because I don't know, the cashier sometimes doesn't call for backup. But I have walked past several stock rooms and there's boxes from east to west, from floor to ceiling. That is your profits. And also stop buying all this. You're stocking so much seasonal. Every store I go in, y'all, Easter is busting out. I showed you guys in a walkthrough last week in Winterville. They had a pallet full of more Easter stuff and the floor was completely stocked. There wasn't one empty spot. You're buying all the seasonal Easter is less than two weeks away and then it'll be sitting. And then what they don't sell, they pack up and it goes to sit in a stock room. You didn't make no money. You lost, but that's that. Let me move on. I'm getting upset now. Nails, 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 and nails. Look at these. These are from the Helios. This is from the Lux Edition. I haven't seen any other ones that say Lux Edition. I wonder what the ones that I hold from the Wilson spot. I have to look at the box. Did that say Lux Edition because of the gemstones? Though they also have gemstones. I am excited for these guys. So I bought, I think, three of these. Then they had these. I bought three of these. I'm loving these nails. These are a set of Helios on now. I seen a, um, a YouTube video last night and I left a comment. And sometimes I don't leave comments, guys, because it just, just because you have an opinion doesn't mean you should always voice it. But she was saying, do not buy these nails at Dollar Tree. She had bought a peach set. And she said the peach paint came off. They were like a metallic set. I have not seen anybody hold these. I have not seen these in the store. I appreciate her heads up. And because of her video, I probably will pass on them. Even though each one that I buy, except for one pair I left behind because they were a little bit too short and they were like all matte. I didn't like them. Um, I've picked up every one variety that I've seen. Several of each. I'm going to go back and get more of these because I just love these. Anyway... And these have been on for several days now. I have not had no issue. These are some strong nails. Um, but she said her design came off and she said they wouldn't stay on her nails. They were popping off. Now, I don't know what glue she used. I don't know if she used the glue that comes with these or the tabs. One of you said you couldn't get the glue to dry. So I don't know. I did not ask her. I just told her that I'm wearing a set now that I love. And she asked me which ones did I get. I tried to explain to her, you know, without pictures in a comment, which ones I found. But I love these guys. And um, I'm going to rack up because these would probably cost me like 13 bucks if I got like a Kiss style or another name brand style with the gemstones on. And um, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And from Pretty Women... This is the only set that I have seen since they've came back into the Dollar Tree that I bought. Um, and I bought three of these as well. They're just so pretty. I love the accent nails. And I'm not a 100% blue lover, but I like these, okay? So I bought three or four of each of these. I want to say three, but I probably could have bought four. I won't need nails for a while, guys. I won't. And um, I'm happy it's saving me money. Now, the star of this haul, before we get to the star of the haul, 
I told you guys in yesterday's video that I started making my cold brew. I ordered the system from Amazon and the first batch I used the Dollar Tree Harry and David's Vanilla Cream Brulee. I believe I steeped it for too long. Um, it was very bitter and I also drank it straight. I see some people when they make it because I've watched tons of TikTok videos and YouTube videos because I'm new to this cold brew life, a home cold brew life, right? Um, they would dilute it. As soon as they take the filter out, they um, fill, you know, the water, the coffee levels goes down a little bit and they top it off with water. I didn't do that. I drank it straight and I just could not get that taste out of my mouth all day. And I made my coffee to go on the road with me um, because I knew I had like a 40 minute drive ahead of me. So I made like I do most times, whether it's hot coffee or whatever. Sometimes I take it to go so I could get on the road. Child, that coffee was so bitter. I could not get that taste out of my mouth no matter what. I had stopped and got breakfast because, again, I just wanted to get out. I had to work later that night. So I just wanted to get on the road and start my day and do my commute. So Dollar Tree sells these toothbrushes. It's no water needed, breath freshener, a two pack. Okay, it looks like this. And you can see one is gone because I bought one and I got temporary relief. I scrubbed my tongue. It even comes with a pick on the end and the toothbrush or toothpaste or whatever is already infused in this brush. I do recommend these. I do recommend you keeping these in your car or your work bag or something for an emergency situation. It's from Scope. Crest and scope, but it only gave me temporary relief. I, that m taste stayed in my mouth forever, and I was very discouraged because I really want the cold brew to work, but it just was that style of coffee, and it was just too bitter. I steeped it too long, so this batch, the second batch, was very successful, but I just wanted to point that out, but the star of this haul, guys, ta -da! All right, so I have been seeing everybody haul the Nordica dishes, right? And we got them in Greenville, uh, two locations, Winterville and the Dollar Tree by the mall got the Nordica plates, um, the small ones that have the blue swirls. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I don't care if it's Nordica. I, I'm not a fan. I'm, I'm, I'm not a fan. So I left them for somebody else. I have been wanting like a pasta dish or a pasta bowl. Some people call these salad bowls. Whatever you call them, I love these. And these are gray, guys. They're not blue. At first, I thought it was like a baby blue. This is gray. So, yes, it has a faint design. So, it's not too busy, right? It's gray. And then it has a gray rim around it. Has the Nordica on the back. I probably should have bought six. I only bought four. So if I'm doing like a pasta, a chicken alfredo, a shrimp alfredo, a salad, this would be perfect. So I, this is the star of my haul. I did not expect to find these. And these were at the large Kingston location in the Walmart parking lot. If you're looking for them, I hope you find them. I haven't seen them anywhere else. I think I've seen somebody show a dinner plate that size if i see the large dinner plates guys would i buy them yes in this pattern yes i'm not interested in anything navy blue um or blue if i see that large dinner plate in black and white yes because i am obsessed with black and white dishes in my kitchen i uh, that's and glass glass and the black and white yes but i like these guys i should have got six but i only got four pasta salad I love it even um like a taco bowl or whatever like that you know what I mean it's not quite a plate you know but it's almost a plate you know what I mean gives you that extra space for the pasta for a salad and stuff like that um I love them guys and just showing you the pattern again gray and white yes everything is gray in here gray white yes love them so that is the star of my haul and that was everything guys I wanted to follow up with you guys I hope you didn't mind about these products I wanted to show you what the um, the wine bottle holders looked like stacked up and I wanted to explain to you what I meant about these things I'm, I'm not a fan y'all I'm not a fan 
not at all. These I love. These lippies that we got, I love and I racked up. And this, I hope I like it. I hope I do. But the lip glosses, they were horrible. I mean, like I said, I didn't even get up the block and it absorbed in my lips. They were horrible. But that's it, guys. Thanks for rocking with me. If you're new, subscribe. Join my cyber family. I'd love to have you. For my returning subscribers, thanks for coming back. We got the monthly wow. Be checking because I'm going to be rolling out the monthly wow one of these days. Okay, I got to put it together. And uh, I believe the 22nd or the 23rd, we're going to start. I don't know if I'm going to do it all in one video, announce all 10 winners of the $15 gift cards, or if we'll do 10 days of giveaways. I don't know if that's fun. I don't know what I want to do. I think I'm leaning towards do 10 days of giveaways and every day we'll announce a new winner uh, for the uh, $15 gift card for helping me reach 10K. I appreciate you guys. It's a long time coming. And like I said, I really don't get caught up in the numbers game because you would get frustrated. I encourage you to support small content creators um, because this is not easy putting yourself out here. Um... It's not easy putting yourself out here. And the time that goes into editing videos, um, it's not easy. Not complaining because I do it because I love it. If I didn't love it, trust me, I would have stopped a long time ago because it has not been financially lucrative. You know, some people are use this as their income and, they, you know, they make a good chunk where they can pay their bills and that's all they do is social media. No, I am a full-time worker. I, I'm a nurse. I work full time. Even though I work three days a week, I do my full time 12 hour shifts. Um, and this is fun for me. I do this because I enjoy doing it. I enjoy sharing deals. I've been sharing deals before the internet was even thought about. Everybody always came to me because they knew I knew where the deals were at. So this is not um, an income for me. But yes, it is nice to be compensated for your time and that you put in and stuff like that. Yes, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie, but I did it many years and I earned nothing, not one penny. And I uh, was posting on a regular basis. So support small content creators, guys. Um, I'm here just for the content. That's all I want. I'm here for the hauls. If I shout somebody out, I'm shouting you out because I watch their haul. I don't know what else is going on outside of that, nor do I have, I don't have, I have enough personal issues in my own life and with my family and <laughs> I could tell you stories okay I don't need anybody nothing else so if I recommend a channel for you if I shout out a person to you it's because of their content holes what they found what they thought you know what I mean um no other reason <laughs> no other reason I don't know what anybody else does outside of YouTube you know the holes and stuff like that that's it guys I hope you guys are having an amazing Sunday. Happy St. Patty's Day. I almost forgot. Um, I was going to make corned beef and cabbage. I never made it before in my life. I'm going to have me some crab legs and make my own little seafood boil. I hope you guys enjoy. Take care. Bye-bye.